is going to be Parappa versus Granuli from the December Showdown or Low Inter Round Robin Tournament. And it's going to be game one. So we've got Granuli, or Parappa rather, here in the orange playing Trade Federation. We've got Granuli here in the green. I barely see him on the minimap there with that terrain that they've got. It's so green on the minimap. Granuli here in the green Wookiees, the invisible Wookiees, blending in with the map here. And in terms of food, there's some nerfs here that they can get into the nursery. Quite a few actually, up to maybe about 10 nerfs or so. Some light hunt. Doesn't look like there's any loadables. Oh, there's more than 10. You got a double nursery here, I think. So like one and a half nurseries full of nerfs. That would be good to keep the worker production going. And you can get stuck into the light hunt, stuck into the berries. And in terms of this map, it looks a bit like Precipice does. We've got two crossings, pretty easy walls really, you can use either the super buff light walls with their six ranged armour or the prefab shelters. In the Trade Federation's case they'll have to use the uh, light walls. But currently here is Wookiees because he can build houses, can make his prefab shelters here. Yeah. It'll be interesting to see what will happen off of this. Parappa here, got both his nurseries down, okay, we just on the one just now, he hasn't found those extra nerfs, he's struggling to scout all the way around, he's to get hunting, keeps collapsing into the uh, the tree clusters, but there's still five over there, five of there's a lot of nerfs to not have found already, whereas it would seem in Parappa's case he's found all of his nerfs, It doesn't look like Parappa wants to build a carbon processor, so I wonder if he's uh, going to try and do the forbidden tech, which would be the uh, troop center power core without the. There's not much straggler trees though left. So I've got about another 200 carbon out of these though. So he's going to start his troop center, and you know, Granuli's probably not going to see it because he's still like hunting around for nerfs and stuff. He does find those now. Parappa just needs 140 more carbon. It's probably the only sieve you can really do this with because you don't have to build your houses, so you're saving like 75 carbon or so. Huh? But why? What the hell? <laughs> why not just long distance rally the workers to the Nova and then get your carbon processor or go for a power core well it's gonna have to hope that one mountain is just enough to spoil this game for Granuli with how quickly it comes out I find this very bizarre when you're uh, you have so many workers on carbon as well oh, you can just two workers walk back and forth and Bring 20 Nova by the time that you'll even need it. So, carbon processor finally going down for Parappa here. And the mounting's almost been built with no power core, it takes a while. Very slow trickle. But uh, just think of the inefficiency as this, because there wasn't much trees, so they've all run out now and they have to run so far back and forth. And the mounting is finally out here. It's like the fastest mountain of all time, but it's pretty fast. Just because of the cut corners. I think we'd be much better off with a, a power core and a carbon processor and no need for a Nova processor. Currently, on the other hand, having a bit of a hard time here. He hasn't got his carbon processor at all, which I'm a little bit miffed about. So I think this is going to be a disaster for him if he's just placed this carbon processor with all these workers and then a Mountie shows up just as he was getting that efficient carbon started. Mountie's going to be here. Biological workers as well, they can't be repaired. So you probably have to get yourself like a medic here just to heal them up a bit. Does at least have basic training. Needs to pull the scout home as well. Or alternatively the scout could be harassing this worker trying to build the power core. He's going to need to get all that carbon in and get a troop centre down. 
look at the food. You could just rush, I think you should rush T2. Just cut the workers here, tech up. He's got the buildings, got the buildings for the building room. And then just get a turret. It's super doable as well. We can see how many workers are queued. He keeps queuing up extra workers. Just needs to go T2. And then even if you don't get your troop center started, or the power core down for it, you can have the turret here. So we've got one turret, two turret, it's got a leapfrog, if necessary, and it helps cover the power core. And it needs to be careful not to be losing these workers, because the DPS is a bit higher now, with two mounties and a third joining now. And now it's going to start to ramp up a bit, and Cornelius not hit T2. We're still building the workers. And it could be like the big advantage that he's got over his opponent is uh, the tech level. Troop recruits starting to build up now. One second on the way. Just needs about three, and then you can throw them out and start kiting these. Let's get housed. Maybe it'll help him by killing a worker. He's <laughs> it's gonna let the power core die though. Workers are not in position to repair it. It's built up against the uh, command center, less surface area too. And it's a bit of a disaster losing that when you have basically no carbon income. Just a lot of uh, mistakes that Parappa's forced out of Granuli, just all compacting onto one another and making this so much worse for him. Let's see now, the trooper recruits are running to their death because they're so overextended. There's four mounties here and they can just take the trade with them very easily and kill them off. Even with Parappa mismicring here, clicking on blooming workers. And with all the farms that Parappas has to slam down now to get, catch up to T2, by the time he gets to T2, he'll be in a very good position to just go off to tech level 3. You can see he's already at 200 food that's going to build up. It does seem to still be making mounties though, just keeping the pressure on, making sure that Granuli doesn't have any, even a chance to get a sort of counter attack off. You know, they're trying to get an even further away carbon up here. It is T2, but not built any turrets. Could at least double turret this and keep it safe. And you should probably wall this power core as well. He's like running all his workers away and leaving it exposed. Which is not something you want to do when there's about four or five uh, mounties hanging around. So have some troopers coming out. Parappa running through them. Gonna take a lot of damage here as he tries to find this new carbon. Even if you can't do damage to it though, it's great in scouting information, he knows that all these workers are here. <laughs> they probably need another second carbon processor, there's so many of them there. Parappa 800 food, as we said, they're going to be in a very good spot just to T3. Building's on their way, and Granuli unfortunately going to be stuck at about 400 food or so. Because <coughs> he doesn't have any other food income. Just all of his workers on carbon right now. Not really much else to say, I'm just going to be waiting for the T3 to roll in. The strike might to show up in the GG to be called, really. We don't even have turrets. I have no food income. Second troop center, just not needed. Still as a scout, we could be keeping an eye and see that he's just not going to do anything with that. He's just sort of going through a weird little technical motion here by building this. This should just be farms. Farms and grab the ore, build turrets, double turret, try and turret here, start building anti air troopers. That's all you can really do in this spot. And just sort of half close things out a bit with a little bit of walling. And the mountain's just doing their rounds, running around the base, keeping Granuli busy. Parappa hits T3 and he's got even more food than Granuli does. He's got an extra 800 food he just had there. 
Looks like you spent a lot of it though. Really spaceported a wee bit. Strike max are on their way. Airbase has been slammed. Troopers in the middle of the map. Gonna catch the strike mech, do a little bit of damage to it. Force it to kite a wee bit. We'll uh, relieve some of the pressure, but it's the farms just only getting built now and there. I don't think they're gonna have the time to really get the food in like Granuli needs because very soon they're gonna be under duress with strike mechs and fighters hanging around shooting at them as they try to bring home the lettuce. That's not gonna be a good time. Uh, he's gonna get knocked off the spaceport he's trying to build as well, which is horrible. I have no Nova income and no spaceport up. I can't build any grenadiers. Don't want them to snipe the anti air troopers. Could just get a couple with the starring res, but as you can see, down to zero now. So like turret turtling would have been the only way to maybe get back in the game. That's so where you go up to like three or four turrets and you get on the ore. So GG call from Granuli there because it's just going to snowball from this point. There's no way to defend himself. Um, Parappa takes game one there. Let's go into game two. And it's the kickstart map, your base as a whole. At least it means that all the resources are pretty easy to find here. So Granuli going to be in the Orange Trade Federation this time, and Parappa going to be on the First Order in the red. And I keep seeing First Order in these games. And I keep forgetting that they uh, do not have mounties. They've got terrible flame troopers, which are awful. So every time they seem to roll uh, nerf maps a lot as well, but they can't really make use of that. Uh, advantage in the same manner that the other subs can when you've already got the nursery if you want to make mounties. So it looks like double nursery map. Crazy map here with like the sort of Nova Assault vibes, a nice little pond up. To be honest, I'd be all over that. That looks good. That's like forward shore fisher forward troopers memes. Gotta be done. You just wall your carbon in or something. Yeah, that seems comfy. Build your troop centers at the, the shorefish for the big rush with some turrets or something like that. Seems kind of a short distance this map as well. Pretty fun. And I mean Parappa it looks like he's he wants to go flame troopers or something. Don't know, a lot of work is going on the carbon here. A couple of VOPs, they've been like, kind of nice, you can shoot them up against the edge of the map and maybe you get your food processor here. Can I get both? Two birds, one stone there. Really off to get his carbon processor. He's found a Jew back though, which uh, perhaps I hasn't. I feel like he knows about it though, surely. Yeah, he's going to get it now. He's sort of starting his, uh, his little wall-offs, but I don't think he's being as ambitious as this map would let him be. As you can see, very easy walls here. He just scouts a little bit more. You just wall here, and just sort of wall to the command centre on both these sides. Uh, tons and tons of workers on carbon here for Granulian. I think he's about to start the troop centre, as he does. So a troop centre on Zeve. Maybe give Parappa a little bit of his own medicine from last game. But he has built the carbon processor first. And Parappa kind of come for some very unambitious walling. In the face of mountains as well, which is just, I just don't really like it. They're just sort of spending resources that you probably shouldn't. You should be trying to get your own troop centre up. Trooper recruits out and stuff, or your own mounties. Well, I guess flame troopers. Maybe in this case it's better to just go. Trooper recruits. But either way, need need something. 
Because these just explode when mounties hit them. First mountie is away. Off he marches. It's got a, a little bit of an unethical spawn on the carbon rocks here, which is just adding a little bit more walling to this area than it should. Like, why is it spawned like that? That's blessings of RVA right here. So in comes the mountie. Don't want to be fighting under the command center though. He's desperately trying to wall it and stuff. He really, really needs to pay attention to these units. He can't be losing these to command center. Just go to the carbon. And he's going to get boxed in here almost and lose this. I think he's maybe trying to stop the wall up here. It's fine if he can draw the fight over here where it's really overextended. But I mean, I mean again, you could just kill the light walls. They're not. They're only strong against the ranged units. The Mounties just absolutely slaughter them. And we got the first trooper recruit out. A couple more Mounties getting up here as well. And Granuli just getting really confused by this wall, which he shouldn't be, because he can just kill it in seconds. Even not even wanting to go through it. I don't know what it is about these walls that are bamboozling people. Like this spot here, you can just come in and kill this runner up here. You can even, is that, there's a gap here I think. I don't know, they did a really dodgy stack up there, like there's some sort of weird mystical gap here. If he wants it, if he wants to go in he just goes here, because you can get all the mounties around it and it'll just explode. He's going to try and go for the nurseries. But he's letting Parappa stack up a lot of troopers. Fortunately though Parappa's not counter-attacking him. Just gonna let Granuli get into T2. Because he's almost there. I think you should kill this though, put the pressure on. You just go to it, bam, it's dead. And Parappa desperate to try and get that counter attack. You can see he's running them out and walling. And Granuli should be looking for things like this and keeping an eye on his opponent. Because this is a window for him to actually go in and cause mayhem in the base. He could run in and kill the power core. This one. You only get two on these, but you can get like five on this. Dies in like three times the speed. And I'm really actually trying to T3 here. I don't know if that was the best choice. And you can see that these troopers are going to get in here, and there's just nothing to defend the workers. And the reason it's bad to go for the T3 here is because he didn't really do like damage, damage, you know? He didn't kill any troopers or anything like that. He didn't really kill any workers. He just sort of slowed Parappa down a bit. But the distance is so short and letting Parappa get out here is just going to really mess things up for him. He's going to keep suiciding workers to get this turret. At the same time he's not, he's not getting into the base here. Really is on the way to T3. You could still pull this back. You need to keep the pressure on though, keep attacking these walls, make Parappa slow himself down by building prefab shelters and whatnot. Just not being active with these guys. He does have power for his mech factory. He doesn't need to do this. This is just silly. You've, you've already waited this long not to go for it. Just build this build the strike mech. Don't lose workers. More troopers on the way now. Strike mech's out. And a lot of those troopers are gonna die. We fight for the first order. Going for the prefab rather than the light walls. <laughs> Which is just insane. A really weird noise these uh, first order workers this sound like they're saying my favorite map so the strike should be out putting the pressure on hopefully where are they they're hanging about in the base they need to be out here look at the angle that they could be getting 
Could be harassing the Nova, could be harassing the Carbon, because Parappa's walled himself in very tightly on this map. Like, really does manage to finally get through the wall. Can dive for the power core here. Put the pressure on. He needs to have these strike mechs coming up though, but like, some of them are hanging about in the base. Every time you do this, like you face someone that's in T2 and you've just gotten T3 and they've done some damage to you, you need to be super active with your units. Can't, can't go into turrets. You need to really be going out there and getting the damage done because you've got to compensate for everything that's happened in the lead up. He does get his air base, needs to get a fighter over there as well. And just pick this apart. There's a fighter on the way now at the car bin. And just pick Parappa apart while he can't deal with it because he's only halfway to T3 right now. There we go. Hitting it multiple angles. Some of these workers have just decided to start hunting the UOPs now so they've got something to do. He really needs to be careful not to lose units though. He's going to lose this one. There we go. Pulls it back. It's on Parappa to get, always oh, managed to get the anti-air troopers who are extended a little bit. They've got a bit of elevation here as well, I think, giving them a bit of a buff. And then you can just move to the other side. I wouldn't mind um, rebuilding the mounties now as well, like adding some mounties here to try and knock down the wall a bit. And they can help if you get in and they, like, you know, pump out a mech destroyer. You can go for the mech destroyer with them. Really getting some anti-air troopers here. Rapa starting to fall apart a little bit. He's trying to get a heavy weapons factory up to make an anti-air mobile. And he's going to get a turret here at his carbon, so that'll at least be safe for a little bit. But like the rest of his base, is going to be getting held hostage for a wee while until that anti-air mobile comes out. Currently, on the other hand, he just needs to rebuild his equal a little bit and get himself like another command center, and then he should just, uh, you know, build workers two at a time, and he'll be super ahead of Parappa. Because Parappa is not going to be anywhere close to getting himself a command center for a wee while. Currently, is an order though, so he actually might go for a forward here. Shouldn't be the worst thing, because right now, there's nothing Parappa could do to stop him. I think they like killing Blow would really, if he, he got like a fortress here at the Carbon. Because what other Carbon can he go for? There's nothing. He's trapped in here just now. But I do worry, Granilli, he's, he's sort of over microing his air here a little bit. I don't think there's really much point in it. Now that the AA mobile's out, he just needs to focus on himself and just... Use what you can to get super ahead. That opportunity of having, you know, extra worker production if he gets a CC. Look at Granelli's res. Getting sort of close, he's put, he put even more workers on the war, so he's definitely going to be going for the fortress, I feel. We've got Mech Destroyer. Two Mech Destroyers and an A-Mobile. You know, Parappa could be aggressive and push back with this, maybe. And that could be it. A bit difficult for a Granuli here. What this will just ultimately lose to though is if the, any artillery gets out. So this wouldn't even be a bad opportunity for like um, heavy weapons factory and just rallying artillery because it's not, look at the distance, it's, it's nothing. And you know these just auto lose to it. Mech destroyer out and it's getting like the first shots off here. Getting a lot of damage onto this mech destroyer so it should go down and Parappa can't really afford things like that. Um, because he deleted his wall, letting them out. The strike mechs are running in, but there is a mech destroyer at home, so probably a bad move from Granuli to push that any further. But this should really give him the opportunity, because look how much older he's mind. He's kind of forgetting what he was doing. He could be getting his workers across right now and getting that fortress down. Maybe get it in this spot, since it's kind of difficult to get over at that carbon right now. And he needs to watch, because Parappa is going to start pulling ahead when the mech destroyer fights because of the defender's advantage on how long it takes and you're really going for his forward now but I don't mind to pull the ore workers, he kind of needs his carbon he's not going to have anything to 
control that area. I think his workers are going to get harassed here. I'm trying to go for the mech destroyers again. Could afford having a second mech factory or a heavy. I think heavy weapons factory is the absolute key move here in rallying artillery. Grinley's getting a little bit confused and doesn't know where he wants to build his uh, fortress. Now that he doesn't have any control. And Parappas just keep making mech destroyers. He's on one base. Grinley's going to get his second command center now. I think he's given Parappa a lot of room to catch up here now, just by not really spending his money too much. Building a carbon processor over here with these workers. Uh, he can't be losing this, it's rallying to its death. Not paying attention. It loses that mech destroyer. When I mean, they would have been on an even count. I thought he'd be ahead by one. And Parappa is going to feel a little bit emboldened to move out now because he's got these A-mobiles, you know. Neither player seem to have any upgrades. Oh, I've just started getting them now for Granuli. He's got his, uh, his plus one range, his plus one armor. Does that really help when you get in these trades? And this could be a big, like, bad moment for Parappa if he overextends here and loses these because, you know, he's on one command center. Looks like he's desperately mining this ore. He's maybe going to make um, CC over there. He's going to run home. I don't think he wants to take this trade. Really spending his money again, getting all these farms and stuff, chasing these units away. And uh, really could just, uh, I think he's just get either heavy weapons factory, second mech factory, and uh, just push this advantage he's got in terms of production. He can't, he can't really sit back. I don't think because he's going to let Barappa get back in the game. He's going to make a fortress here actually. Oh. He kind of could. It's a good. It's a good defensive spot for him for sure. On the back of that, then Granuli could maybe just sit back and get third command center now. Could have grabbed the center with it. And get all the Nova. Just notice how much ores on this map as well. Everyone should be going a bit mental with the ore. Maybe just build forts everywhere. Why not? Rancor says it's okay. Tons of ore on the map. Couple of mounties. Interesting. Could be nice. Maybe get heavy mounty at least as well. Though. Handful of them could be quite good in a trade, but Parappa ultimately is going to have this fortress that he can run back to now. A big attack here, and I wonder where going is going with a little sensor post here. You're gonna see that weird little carbon green he's got there. I'm gonna try and kill it here. Not paying attention to the mounties though, they're gonna die for free. Just heavy weapons here and just cut through. And they're gonna take the trade now, but there's a lot lot more mech stores and there's upgrades here. Just a few we've just gotten a couple now for our Parappa. But these TFMDs are wreaking havoc at the moment. You just can't press the issue with the fortress here. Oh transport, interesting. If you can get a fortress off, that would be great. But what he needs to do is keep his units close and ferry them over as well. He's going to he's trying to preemptively build a fortress here. Grilly's just not really paying attention here, is he? You can't start doing this when he's halfway through a fort that you can see is happening. Just cancel it and build it here and drop, your, drop all your MDs over here. Ah!
a mess. We've got the double fortresses now. Definitely hard to uh, kill Parappa off at the moment. So, really, can I go back to maybe that earlier plan and get heavy weapons factory here? I think the one thing you could probably do ahead of Parappa though is just go T4 and get cannons. It's gonna sort of look like an Age of Empires game in the way that this is going. You know, these being all castles and they just need to go T4 and get the, uh, get the trebuchets out, get the cannons out. He's getting a research center. Maybe he's thinking about it. He does kind of want basic tra uh, basic training? Fucking uh, research. Uh, what do you call it? Tracking. Research tracking. Tracking will really help here. When you're fighting with mech destroyers and there's a lot of like running back and stuff, make sure all the shots land. I don't know why Parappa felt he really needed to stop this. Because he's just lost a lot for that. Really needs to pull his units away out of this fortress fire. They keep walking into it. Say like they got a death wish. It's quite a lot of damage when you take a few shots. Crap! Keeping his vision up, making sure Grunley doesn't sneak around with his aggression here. Uh, Grunley could just sell some carbon, I think, and go T four. Parappa's trapped in T3. He just doesn't have much um, food income at the moment. He's only just started some extra farms now. Peak farming right here. The heavy weapons factory. And the research center slammed down in the middle of it. Grinley does start his T4 now. And it's going to be really hard to stop cannings killing this because of the trees. This is the, the disadvantage of this. The cannon's going to be kind of unhittable from this angle here. And perhaps uh, Granuli can bait him into a mistake trying to kill the cannons. Rancor shutting down the vision here at about like 99%. This is RBA's worst nightmare. Oof. Can't stop here. This is Rancor country. They're all over the place. Anti-air turret going down here. Um, I think Grunelli's really built much air, is he? Since the early game. Could be flying around scouting with them, I suppose. Oh, he's going to cut through, is he? Why can't these be cut? Is this like... Sneaky changes or something? Or could you never cut carbon rocks? Uh, I don't know. Because it's like this in Age of Empires now, where the uh, mangonel's not working, I believe. Here come the units. They're going to have to go around. I don't think he really needed to do that though. I think he could have just sat here and let his cannons kill the fortresses. Well, he does have a lot. Forward Bank Factory is going to be a third fortress from Parappa the Turtle. And the cannons out. Gorilla's going to need a second fortress for just for cannon production at this rate. One day, he'll take that fortress down. Parappa does make it to T4. Really, he's sort of uh, not taking advantage of his window here. Definitely needs to get these fortresses down. Get some of his mech destroyer upgrades in, because he's going to have a much stronger mech destroyer line than First Order are. Look at the one worker try to build the shield generator. 
Cannons are chipping away here. Probably going to try and repair it. Pretty long walk with those uh, Novas. Very green. So green. Cannon out here for Parappa. Is he trying to repair? Maybe he can try and kill the cannons with his cannon. But, uh, he should be able to hit the shield generator. And I'm really not really reinforcing too much. I see a lot of units heading this way. It looks like Parappa just might pull through to the point that his. Uh, Macro game might be able to give him the win here. He's still building his economy back behind all of this. Fortress does go down. He really needs to watch though, because he's only really got the one fortress now. If he goes down, he can't build any more cannons. Ah, he's just hemorrhaging units here. Perhaps getting some really good value, good trades here. It's going to help him pull all the way back in this game. He's now taking over a Grunley score. Grunley's a little bit tunneled. But at the same time, he's not really making much. And, you know, a lot of his economy is being very inefficient right now. Like these guys in this carbon, these guys in the Nova. And he's kind of just losing to like basic mech destroyers as well. Just just heavy mech destroyer. When he can get like both HP upgrades, heavy mech destroyer. But Parappa is just doing a much better job and just reinforcing his army. And he's going to push really back out of that spot. Kind of game that air cruiser would be strong for both players here. It's because there's not really much like anti air with the armies. There's these few AA mobiles that are out of position. And they've got seven range though. We're all like half health. It's Rancor working for Parappa here, bashing down the heavy weapons fighter. And Greenly looks a little bit stumped. Doesn't seem to have anything. A few MDs. She's trying to build some more mech factories. Probably got a couple of assault mechs, which will really help when there's low numbers of mechs right now. Getting in a yawn, it's getting a little bit boring now, with nothing happening. Parappa is sneaking around the edges of the map here. And his heavy weapons factory. Maybe start putting in some artillery. But he's going to walk through the centre of the map. And Grunely is sort of not right in the right position for this. He's, uh, he's kind of like waiting for an army to come this way, but it's just not. It's running down the center. Uh, Brappa is going to take the center and get onto that Nova, which he desperately needs, I think. He's just managed to reclaim this Nova pile, but he would have eaten his other one. And being T4 now, his Nova costs are through the roof. He needs all that Nova. Greenly really should see this army now. He needs to pull his MDs. And he's just going to walk into Granuli's eco here and cause a lot of damage. Grunley's kind of letting him. He's trying to get his upgrades, it looks like. Pretty much got technicians on the way. He's got speed one here. And if he can fan out his forces, get both those upgrades through, get up to that 281. You see the difference in health these guys are going to have. Try and kill off that heavy assault mech. 
and then he can start taking the trade. And these guys are not really paying attention. They're on like stand ground or something, or he's actually focused on the uh, command center, and he's just losing them all for free. Oh no. That's a bad trade. <laughs> oh dear. And that's going to give Granuli a little bit of hope here. Because he's got all his upgrades now. All he has to do is just keep making mech destroyers. Until Parappa like, creates um, some sort of good counter for them. Like maybe Grenadier Troopers. This all makes it okay if he's got, got a bunch of them. There's two coming through here. Granuli needs to maybe pull back a little bit because he's lost some of his guys there. He is making a lot of mech destroyers, but they're just not in the right spot, right? They're not being rallied over here at the center where he needs them, because if he kept doing this, he could just snipe these for free. And he could keep the pressure on Parappa, who's making strike mechs now. I'm not really too sure what for, especially if he was getting pressed in this situation. He just needs lots of MDs and kind of needs a tech switch, I think. First order. Men to be a trooper, so if they do have like, better attack speed, they could have like attack speed grenadiers or something like that. I mean, that would really help. Or is it just laser troopers to get that buff? I can't remember, but either way, grenadiers would be great in this situation. You can see the assault mechs are not doing too well just because they get focus fired. But Granuli, again, is just not bringing all of his units at the same time and making good use of his uh, superior health. He keeps trading Parappa with like the same amount of units Parappa has. And the assault mech is just sitting here like two shots away, putting in tons and tons of AoE damage. Not desperate to build a shield generator. Just one worker building it. Ah! Just build the things. Keep making units. I think really he's going to tap out here. I don't think he should. I think this is very close. What? What's wrong? I think you could win this. Like, this is not what First Order wants. I don't know, this seems like a, a bit of a, a tilted GG here for some reason. Look at the populations are so similar. The resources are so similar. And Granuli's gotten through the hard part as well, he's got all his upgrades for his mechs. He just needs to keep making them. I don't think he should have quit there. Into game three. Oh, interesting. Tyranitex. So this is is this Corobin? Look at these little tombs. Or is it called Renvar? Is that what it is? I don't know. Tyranitex. I just remember them from uh, Knights of the Old Republic. That's sort of force sensitive looking rancor things. And this one, Grunley back on the Trade Federation here in the green. Parappa in the Naboo. Oh, the Naboo. Strong Civ. In the orange here. Naboo, super strong because they get their farm upgrades for free. Um, sort of a little bit like... Kind of desert. Some good lure. A little bit of low hunt. Got some food stockpile, which is cool. And a few nerfs, but these are uh, the... Balls. Any balls. All the balls. Put the balls in the nursery. I think really munching on a Minoc, he's going to find his balls. Seems to be a little bit late there. Find the ones that are close. That's a little bit taller. And he's going to see that dew back, so he gets stuck into that. He won't need to eat any of his balls. He can just put them in the nursery. His balls are safe. Off to get the dew back, surely. Parappa already getting stuck into a Ronto here. And uh, looks like he's going to have a nice, probably the easiest wall off his head. This is super comfy right here. Look at that. That's a dream command center spot right there. Very protect. So you can just wall here, here, and then just like that. Pretty comfy. Got like a decent amount of space as well. Cornelius is a bit more. Oh no. Guys, what is this? What? Why? Whoa, 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 whoa. What? How has this happened? It's 
it's like intentional. It's like, the, it's like somebody made that in the scenario editor. It's like uh, meant to be symmetrical or something. Uh, that's a regame, surely. I'm gonna be playing that out. He's even lost two of his balls. Come on. At least he's got a couple of Jewbacks. And he's getting his troop center down. You know, maybe he can persevere here with some early mounting aggression. Before the great walls of Parappa are up. And Parappa does have his two Rontos. It's three Rontos actually. Where's the third one? He's got three. Oh, there it is. Oh, he does see it though. He does see that one. I don't think he'll ever see this one. Not until like after the game. Has that got health? Is it? Can that die? Selectable. The crate dragon skeleton. Food processor going down. It shouldn't really be the case. You should be able to uh, get another 800 food. But he can't. Uh, perhaps it's pretty quick in getting his walls down now as well. So No mighty? No? Huh. I wonder if he's maybe just trying to do like a normal T2 rush. But... Like this, this timing of this wouldn't like be that bad. If he could get his two Rontos. It's super rough though. I think he should have just regamed. Because <laughs> that's uh, one of the harshest screws I've seen in a while. Barabba is walled. He'll be feeling nice and happy and safe behind his walls. You're only on the way to T2, building his troopers, but it reminds me of the Rue Jackers game. He's gonna try and go for the rush, but then he's gonna get there and it's all walled. And he's so eager to wall that he's walled out of Ronto. Walled at two Rontos, what the heck? That's not great. So both players could be uh, 800 foot up, where they? they should be. At least in Granulia's case, it's not his fault. I don't think really should be. Sure, what Parappa's actually up to. Because he can't get into his base, but he's playing kind of defensive. He's sort of playing to just go T3, I suppose, if nothing bad happens to him. Got like 500 food or so. This guy's very idle, though. He's rallying onto the warriors, maybe thinking about like double turret if he needs to, maybe. Trying to make a Sif Temple change his mind, went for the mech factory. But what we will find is perhaps is halfway there to T3. And it should be a very easy uh, attack into air base here for him, being the boot. It's not much food though. He's really cut corners here. He's just got a few workers and his nerfs right here. Just buy 100 carbon and slam those two air bases down if he wants. There's one. The way he spent his uh, good old strike mech worker. Nova beam drill mining, huh? It's an interesting one to prioritize over the, the nerfs and the carbon. 
and more there for that matter. It's got a lot of Nova already as well. And his walls, bamboozling a strike mech, so I'm gonna go off, go off and kill this scout. And I imagine I'm gonna really, yep, he's on his way to D3 now. Strike mechs are coming in though. Let's kill one of his troopers here. So that's putting on the pressure. But it really is T3 now, so you can deal with this. Just one air base as well, so shouldn't be too snowbally. The pressure that comes from uh, Parappa here. There's two strike max and one fighter. You can make the anti-air troopers if need be. He's building his own air base. Just needs to weather this barn. Weather, this, weather the time. Weather the storm. That's what I was trying to say. God, my brain's not working. Mech destroyers out though. Can kind of bop those guys away out of the base here, but he needs to keep an eye on them. They're trying to sneak around. And perhaps it's kind of going hard on the strike max. Up to four now. What you maybe really expect here from Naboo. You kind of really expect like a couple of, just a couple of strike mechs just to force an MD and then double air base. Going really here, going to be on double air base, but uh, oh, his Nova's okay. It just doesn't have any workers on it. He's going to have to make a bit of an adjustment here. He needs a lot more Nova income for that. Up to about six, seven, eight, nine. And second command center started for Parappa here and almost that good spot. He sort of ruined it with this Nova processor. Such a squanderer. This is an interesting fight. I wonder who wins. I'm going to, of course going to take that with a double mech destroyer. Strike mechs no match with no upgrades. Uh, Brad is sort of uh, scattering at home, trying to get some man here. Sorry, that's because he's just one airbase and he's lost his fighters. And you know, Grunley's getting on top of here, but Grunley doesn't want to lose these fighters. He needs to get into some good spots here while he doesn't have turrets in them and get those workers kills. And he's pushing with the mate stars, but he's not, he's not paying attention. And he's just taking free shots from the mate star, and that's just such a throw. Kills a couple of workers, but he's obviously paying attention to this now, and he's almost losing his opportunities here. That's bad, particularly when he's only on the one command center. He has a lot of resources though, he's just not spending it, I think. Did he not build a spaceport? Am I confused? Oh, no, he did. He needs to get the command centers out. It's going a little bit too hard on the aggression after losing the units there. And losing all these fighters when he needn't so. Yeah, just needs to get CCs down, sit back a little bit. Perhaps has invested a lot in his defense now with three turrets. Uh, it'd be so much nicer for Granuli if he just had his two mech destroyers and hadn't lost them. <laughs> Another anti air turret. Wow. Possessed by Russian blunt. It's one of these tombs, is Russian blunt. Maybe one of them's kickstarts as well, all these turrets. And it's just all a little bit quiet now. Very passive from Parappa now, making all those turrets. Gonna try and just crawl out of his walls like last game. Sneak out some command centers. Start picking up areas of the map. Nobody really playing for all the hollows that are actually, you know, just sitting in the center here. Which could be huge, you know, for for the first player that gets it. I, you know, it could have been Granuli here really. Grandpa spending all that stuff. And you wouldn't want to let the Naboo player get them for sure, because they're gonna get so much more value with thirty three percent faster generation, right? Five, seven, ten holocrons. 
and they're all just in the center. A few fighters out now for Parappa, scouting about a little bit, getting bold with them. Cornelli is sort of having the same thought that he wants to go out with his fighters. But what he's going to find is that yeah, there's just too many turrets in the, the base of Parappa. Has he maybe seen these? He's going to see the massive map screen. I'm really going to catch him here. Very lucky just to lose one. Oh, takes the trade though. And what fighters Parappa had there are now deceased. I think Granuli needs another command center. Just a lot. You got kind of like three hundred of almost everything. There we go. And this is kind of the spot in the game where the Naboo is just going to feel like super oppressive now, because every, each one of these farms, you know, they're going to have the upgrades for free. He's going to get. He's going to save so much carbon, get so much value out of them, and then he's just going to go on a very, very comfy T four opportunity if he pleases. But should probably try and get up these hollows. Yeah, that's what the fighters are for, just scouting and having a little bit of control. Wanna see Jedi Temple, air transport, grab them up, get that free monies. Really got a lot of air. Just to really be committed to making sure that Parappa doesn't even get started with having an air force here. But Parappa is luring him into a turret and his own fighters. Really does pay attention, pulls back. Trying to build something here. Maybe it was another fortress. He does have enough for a fortress. He's going to play the same way he did last game. Building his forts to sort of close out some areas for Grinley to attack into. Grinley does have a lot of MDs as well. He might not let him build this fortress. He shouldn't. Why don't we build all these? He could put on so much pressure if he just went forward. But he's almost a third of the way there now. Grinley's just letting him go for it. I think it's the way to, to play this map here against this player. Best thing you do here is you just grab all the hollows and you just go Sif Knights or something. Then you go T4 and then you just start dropping Assault Max because you've got all the money in the world and you can do what you want. Peak GBG. Fortress does go up. <laughs> Was Parappa going to mine these out? Really is going to see that fortress, I believe. Oh no, not quite another fortress. Oh, he's going to build his one. I think it's going to be like game before he tried to build one near a fortress that's already being built or is built. And Parappa just throwing away his units here. Nice opportunity for Granuli here. Maybe going to build back a little bit further, but that might be smart. He kind of just needs to treat like last game where he got to T4 first and just get the cannons out and start sieging the position down while he's got the big mech destroyer lead. What's going to be dangerous here, we see another air base going to be getting built for Parappa is, you know, Naboo have shielded air. And you can see the resources, it's just always naturally going to reach that point with Naboo, all this farm upgrades for free. He's going to hit that 1k, 1k, be able to go T4. Really, not really in that spot for that. I double check something. Not get one. He's been getting his upgrades, that's good. That was one of the Grunelli's coaching feedback was to uh, get his upgrades in T3. Going for the pummels, interesting. Could be good against air because you know not really inclined to build much mech stars. Jedi could do okay against this army though if you got a few out and you got night tech. 
But we should see Parappa started on his way to T4, so Grealish on a little bit of a timer with this. And he needs to be getting to T4 on the back of it as well. So does have that 1,000 food, just needs that Nova now. And he definitely needs to get that button clicked. Because how it could work out is that he takes this fight here, tries to siege down the fortress, and that distracts the air enough that it's not running around his base as fast fighters with shields. And Parappa is going to be starting microing his Padawan, grabbing up these holocrons. Because it's now been, what, 36 minutes and nobody's gone for them. The forces are not really paying it. Where are the units? Bring them forward. The anti airmobile going to kill itself almost. And the pummels start going for it. There does a little bit of damage. It kind of chips away at them. You might need to rally like an extra two pummels though, just to kill this. Oh, the Crusader. Crusader's going to help. But the fighter's doing a lot of good damage to it. The fighter's really helping out here. The Padawan going to be a little bit annoying as well. But what's interesting is that this is letting Greenly build his own fortress. Parappa will be T4 now though, and he's actually lost a lot of his fighters in the process of fighting this. Which is really huge for Granuli here. What's the secret over over here? As I said, he can repair this quite well. Yeah, yep, there he hits T4. But he's lost like half of his fighters. Granuli did get that fortress up. He's going to get a shield generator now as well, getting the artillery. And this is not really the spot you want to be in as the, the air sieve here. But there's a lot of chokes and stuff. You could maybe get like an air cruiser out. Should be kind of huge. We'll look and we'll see what Parappa's actually up to. Not getting any fighter upgrades. Could get Masters. Building a second temple. I've got one Master out. Masters will be quite huge in holding this. Especially if the cannons start trying to pop out. If Granuli had clicked the button, he's 2,000... Why has he forgotten to do this? It's always like one little thing holding him back from uh, just dominating the game, huh? I think he could probably be almost T4 by now. Which means he could get advanced turrets at home during all this. He could have the cannon out right now, getting converted by the Jedi and losing it, you know. It's never still chilling. There we go, T4 started. But it's almost just like no momentum now. He's just sort of existing in this spot. And the masters are going to start piling up. Can at least build his bounty hunters though. Perhaps I'm going to grab more of these hollows, I assume. Power core going to just pop. Oh, sneaky. Not being converted. That's gonna hurt. The temples are now unpowered. Master running in melee mode, gonna die. Cannons trying to get down here, kill off the fortress. MDs are hitting them though. And all of the air is just defending. He really needs to hit this other cannon. There he goes. Even the workers are trying to bash down the units at the moment. And Parappa is just struggling a little bit. Does have his fast fighter. Got a new power core. Needs to deposit the hollow. And Gorilla's sort of weathered the storm here, so he is going to make it to T4. And he hasn't suffered any economic damage, so he's in a good spot here. And he just needs to sort of finish the job, get some cannons and stuff, keep the unit production going. And not quit like he did last game. That's maybe his biggest hurdle is himself. Another master, just going to throw itself away. It does pull it back. These need to just be converting what they can, when they can. 
Oh, down he goes. And cannon coming out here. Can pop the power core. Start popping these turrets and stuff. And the MDs have some okay upgrades, which kind of help. Just do some damage to the masters. They'll do really well when they're like plus seven. You just need a handful of bounties with them. I think we're really just keeping that pressure up. That's what some turrets are home. No research center though. It doesn't look like Parappa's actually trying to get any air together to go and raid him. He's just trying to rebuild his eco a little bit and boom backwards here. Still trying to get those hollows in his temples, but the cannon count could keep climbing, you know, and then he's going to lose the temples. They better to maybe go and hide them somewhere else, like in behind his infrastructure. And Granuli, the bully, is marching on. <clears throat> Doesn't need his. Oh, he's rotten is free now. Could eat him now. Hasn't freed his balls yet, though. I've not seen really anything from Parappa. Some new temples. You still try to grab these. You're sort of setting up for that sort of attrition game, right? Maybe it does sense that, you know, Granuli maybe gives up a little bit too easy, like after last game. I think maybe you can just get a bunch of masters together and get the hollows, get some value out of that, and maybe frustrate him. Just let him think that he's winning just now, killing this part of his base. And you know, he'll be waiting from here. Oh, we did get these units in a good spot here. Being super annoying, killing off a lot of workers. Disrupting the economy. And the fortress is starting to get killed off now. Three cannons out. Making the temples too. What is the uh, hollow situation? There's two in this one. He's going to have to like drop out and... And they got three. Three out of ten. Parappa could have his balls stolen. It's not a good look for anyone. And Grunley, I think, just needs to march forward and just be a little bit more proactive with the units. Put the pressure on here, because Parappa's had a bit of a breather. Well, he's just sat and killed all this stuff off. He's to go and kill the things that Parappa's not quite ready to lose. Which would be this uh, military infrastructure here. Probably this fortress. See, he's trying to boom around here. These Tyrann attacks are uh, pretty lethal. So they only take 2 damage, but they do 4 damage. Damn. Edge. <laughs> I, I don't know if I care what's happening over here. I don't know. This boy's going for it. He's claimed 4 souls. Oh, he's grabbing the hollows with a pada. Just one. Just one pada. And power core goes down. My game nearly crashed there, I think. Bit of a freeze. And Parappa struggling to get something together to stop this army. A lot of bounty hunters out now. The upgrades are starting to ramp up. 
just one health upgrade away from uh, the Exodia Trade Federation max. Only got two hollows. And Granuli about to be on two himself. Stolen hollows. Oh, he got another one before he went down. What a legend. So that's six worker kills for the Tehran attack. Torrent attack. And the fortress going to go down. Cannons just completely untouched. Never getting converted or anything like that. Still, he's trying to rebuild his eco as he can. He's doing a good job of that. But he just doesn't have any forces out, and Grunelli's got so much stuff now. Grunelli's got so much that he's running more than what Parappa even has into Parappa's base and his eco. Killing off a lot of workers, they got that. Decent damage here. Doesn't quite have his last damage upgrade though. Uh, the strike mechs on the go. Heavy strike mechs running in here. And that's going to be too much for them. Wait till they find the farms. It'll be a massacre. I think it's over for Parappa. But he did take the first two games, so. 2 to 1. Pick Granuli, despite the odds, despite the map screws. Well, it's over. Well, I never have demo loop on, but yeah, that's going to be it, I guess. Maybe I accidentally clicked that. But yeah, Granuli going to take that game, so I hope you've all enjoyed that, so. 2-1 to, one to uh, Panapa now. Um, if you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel, like the video, leave a comment on the video. It just helps the channel grow, helps get more people into the channel and hopefully into the game. And if you want to join in our GBG Discord, you'll find the invite link down below in the description. Uh, you'll find one for Expanding Fronts, which is the mod that we're playing here. Um, and yeah, if you want to support the channel another way, you'll find a PayPal link down below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye. <laughs>